God bless you and welcome to the channel. I pray each and every one of you is having a blessed day in Jesus' name. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be testing and reviewing this Ava Pal. They sent me an email asking if I'd review it, and I actually really wanted one of these anyways. I have one for the truck, but we don't have one in the MDX because the one in the truck needs to stay in the truck because the battery's junk. I need to replace the battery. But um, this right here basically just stores the energy and then you can jump start a vehicle with it and charge phones and stuff. I'll link their information in the description. Huge thanks goes to them for sending me this for a test and review. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it real quick just to see exactly what it's all about. Check the quality. It definitely does have some weight to it. Uh, so it is kind of heavy. That's actually a good sign to me because I've gotten ones that were really lightweight and it just felt cheap, if that makes sense. So it has a nice little carrying case. So I will be putting this to use so you guys can actually see it function. Okay. okay. It has this little foam thing to keep it protected. So everyone should have a jump starter in their vehicle. Uh, we'll definitely see how good this one is, but I actually got stranded one time at the hospital and my son got hurt. Uh, we had to go up there and I had the lights left on in the MDX and it just killed the battery and I had to wait for someone to jump start me but this would have been so nice to have in there I have one similar in the truck because the battery's bad go ahead and push this button see it's fully charged press and hold it got a light for emergencies okay. cool has a type C charger input and then a USB 1 output, USB 2 output, and a DC output. So it came with these attachments here. Obviously, that's for the jump starter part, so you can jump start a dead battery. Pull that off. This piece only goes in one way. You can hear that beep. All right, so after plugging it in, it says the standby is in blue when it's in the green. Uh, it's ready to jump start and you press this button over here on the side so that's pretty cool then we've got this piece right here plugs in so now you can charge your phone or whatever uh, if your battery's dead this is a power bank as well so that's pretty cool and of course it came with the charging cable so you can charge this up and put it in your vehicle so you have it in case of emergencies so i'm going to go ahead and hook something up to this outlet real quick all right, turn it on. I hooked up my electronic dump, so we're going to see if it works. Nice. So, the electronic dump works, but also, so does this outlet. So that's pretty cool. It already came with it fully charged, and we're going to test this out on the MDX, and we'll see if it'll start it. All right, so the MDX battery is dead. Let me show you real quick. It won't start. So now we're just going to hook up the jump starter. When it's blue, that means it's uh, in standby mode. And when it's green, it means it's ready to start. So I'm going to go ahead and put the negative on the negative post and the positive on the positive. It's green, which means it's ready to start. All right. Start it right up. That thing's awesome. Now we can disconnect, and that's that. All right, so I definitely recommend this Ava Pal, and it still has three bars out of four. I didn't charge it at all. I pulled it right out of the case like this, so I don't even know if it was fully topped off charged. I know it said it was full bars, but I didn't know if it was at the lower half of the full bars, if you know that what I'm saying. Anyways. Uh, definitely works really well, has the emergency flashlight and power outputs and of course type C input to charge it up. So that is absolutely awesome. So it is kind of heavier, uh, but it's not like super heavy. It feels durable, it has a little carrying case, so that's cool. And it also has this carrying case to keep everything organized. So this will definitely be going in every vehicle we have. The one I have from a different brand, it has a beeping countdown and it's really annoying. You have to get it just right or you miss your window of opportunity. On this one, I push the red button and it's ready to jump start. Like it's pretty simple. Plug it in and tuck it away and you can save a lot of people on the road. If you're nervous on jumping vehicles, just use this thing instead of jumper cables and you're good to go. So 
I definitely recommend this and it will be linked in the description. Now I'm gonna fill you in a little bit on the truck. All right, so a little update on the truck. The factory push rods that I used got bent, so I actually have to replace those and the Trunion uh, kit that goes on the rocker arms are gonna be getting upgraded. That'll all be in an upcoming video, kind of fill you in in more depth, but it's because I used the factory push rods that came on this junkyard engine instead of upgrading them. So just spend the money, get the push rod upgrades. It's probably because the springs are a lot harder to press down with that big race cam. So everything's gonna be basically freshened up after I get those push rods and the Trunion kit in. Um, but that'll be all coming out in another video as well. Well, there you have it for the Ava Pow Jump Starter. Highly recommend having one of these in every vehicle. It's real easy to use and you don't have to be mechanically inclined to figure it out. Comes with instructions in there if you're confused. Definitely check out their Amazon page. Has all the information there and a video to show someone else using it as well. Uh, definitely do recommend these though. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here and roll my outro. I pray each and every one of you have a blessed day, and here it is. Hey everyone, I want to let you know the gospel, which means good news. And the good news is we no longer have to live this way. We don't have to live in bondage and sin and addiction and in depression. We can call upon the name of names and the Lord of Lords, which is Jesus. He went to the cross and died for sinners like me and like you. Every one of us falls short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. The free gift of eternal life comes through Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead by the power of God, defeated sin and death for us, and you will be saved. After you're saved, the good works start to show. We're not saved by our works. We can't be saved by feeding the homeless or the poor or going and doing good deeds and stop cussing, but we are saved through our faith in Jesus Christ. And once you have that faith, those things seem to fall off. Your language will clear up. Your good deeds will start flourishing and you will show fruit that you are saved by the King of Kings. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I just wanted to let you know this truth. I know there's people that reject it, but that's their choice. God did not invent hell for us. He gave us a way out with Jesus at the cross. Hell wasn't designed for us. It was actually designed for the fallen angels and the ones that followed after Satan. And it's because of Satan's pride. So remember that whenever you see that word pride everywhere, just remember. It's because of pride that Satan fell. Don't fall into that trap. But God also does honor our choice. If we want to live away from him, he will honor that because he loves us. Love must be free and not forced. See, God is a just God and a God of love, and he loves us so much he gave us free will to choose him or reject him. And either which way we go, he will honor. If we choose him, all the other things are going to fall off and we're going to go towards him. If we reject him, he'll honor that by sending you far from him. And hell is a place of torment, and it will also be filled with a bunch of religious fanatics who sit there shaking their finger at you because you're doing this, but they're doing even worse. They know the truth, so they're going to be held to a higher standard. As soon as you know the truth, you are held to a higher standard. So it's worse for a believer than an unbeliever. I just want to call all of my brothers and sisters out there who have backslid. I've done it, and I call them back in the name of Jesus. I pray this message reaches you. So all you have to do is believe in the finished work. It's not complicated. Open your Bible, start reading, and ask God to open your eyes. And I pray this message reaches whoever it's intended for, because I know there's a lot going on in the world. Guys, he's coming back soon. Jesus is coming. So go ahead, open your Bible, tell the world. I just want to let you know, God loves you, and I love you. If you're saying in your mind, you can't love me, you don't even know me. Well, people hate each other for no reason. I get hated on all the time, and people don't know me. So I can love you for no reason. But my reason comes from above. His name is Jesus. Just wanted to leave you with that. God bless each and every one of you. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Jesus loves you.